hard on myself. You know, I'm probably my worst critic. You know, these are the times that make you appreciate the good times. And uh, so if we do get back there, and when we do get back there, I should say, it's going to be sweet. Under the full course caution, Michael Andretti currently runs in third place. The first two cars, Villeneuve and Vassar, have not yet stopped in the pits. Michael Andretti has made his stop. Now let's get some further updates. Jack Arruda. Well, Paul, finally getting out of his car, the Patrick team driver, Scott Pruitt. And Scott, we documented the fact that a water hose broke at the front of the engine. But this has got to be difficult for you because what's more important to you than actually winning a race is finishing as many races as possible. Well, we're in a run for the championship, and, uh, you know, every race is important. We were running very, very strong here. Back at Telepoint, we broke. We had the fastest race lap. You know, uh, Patrick guys did a great job. The Firestone tires working good. And, you know, Nike Canada jumped on for this race, and uh, we did a great job right up until we, we fell out of the race. and just a little disappointed we couldn't make it to the end. When you don't get as much seat time, and you have to go back to the Firestone engineers to give them input, especially on a temporary racing facility, where do you dig for the information now? Well, we got a lot of information over the weekend. Uh, we almost made it to the first pit stop, which is, you know, only about uh, 15 laps away. Um, so we have a good baseline, not as good as we would have if we would have ran all race long. But there's some things we are, we'll go back and look at. Gary? Jack, just a quick update. We saw Stefan Johansson's problem as it turned out on that flurry of pit activity under the yellow. The car dropped prematurely off the jack. They didn't get the right rear secure. He went out, lost it. He limped his way back in. They've made the change. He's now back on the circuit. All right, we're still under a full course caution here, expecting it to go back green any time now. We might want to tell you that it is our intention to show the interval down of the cars on the leader lap, but right now our computer link is not working properly, and we don't have that information. Paul, oh, look at this. Oh look God. at this. Bring that red flag back out. Well back before the start finish line. Seven cars all involved. Cheever, Guerrero, Matsushita, Ribeiro, Johansson. Looks like Bachelor and one car that I can't tell. How did this all happen? <laughs> Unbelievable. Talk about the concrete canyons. This may give us an idea. All moving back and forth. And Salazar, Salazar gets hit from behind. Looks like by Zampedri. Flip. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Carlos Guerrero flips over the top there. And of course, that means a lot of lock brakes. Over the top of Zampedri. So that unidentified car is Salazar. And for the time being, no. Now we're back to full course caution once again. So just as they tried to get restarted, this happens at the back of the field. Let's take a look at it again. Watch the top of your screen. Well, the great thing is that you could see that Zampedri was cleared by Guerrero completely, so he should not suffer any head or neck injuries. Yep. That was a very scary moment. Can you imagine being in the car, being Zampedri, seeing it get very dark. We talked about clouds coming here, but that was a quick cloud. Well, and it tells you, too, about how much inertia, how much energy is in these cars, because it looked almost slow motion until Guerrero's car number 22 was caught by the rears of Zampedri's car and literally flipped up into the air. Tremendous energy there. So Sam Pedri gets a little anxious, it looks like, on that restart and sets off this chain reaction accident involving Sam Pedri, Salazar, Guerrero, and Bachelor. And on that, Jack Villeneuve headed into the pits and made his stop. We'll be back. Wet roadways like this inspired Goodyear's newest all-season Aquatread radio, the all-new Goodyear Aquatread 2, with a deeper, wider aqua channel to sweep water away for outstanding wet traction and a new tread life compound. Goodyear gives you a 65,000-mile warranty, so you've got wet traction when you need it. The all-new 65,000-mile Aquatread 2, only from Goodyear.
can't guarantee you'll never have a bad day. So it's nice to know that a PPG certified collision repair shop can restore your car's finish and guarantee the paint for as long as you own your car. PPG, world leaders in automotive finishes. With new spark plugs, you get improved performance for a while. But only Bosch Platinum has a pure Platinum Center electrode that's heat-fused for an airtight seal. So Bosch Platinum reaches its self-cleaning temperature faster for full engine power over a longer performance life. Which means you'll replace a lot of other things before you change your Bosch Platinums. Bosch Platinum, the ultimate spark plug. In a sport where nerves are made of steel. It's only natural. The tools are made by craftsmen. 1,600 craftsmen hand tools made in America, guaranteed forever. The only official tools of IndyCar, NASCAR, NHRA, and the new Super Truck Series by Craftsman, only at Sears. You may not remember it exactly when it first hit you, but somewhere along the way, you felt it, and you knew. It's coming. The Senior Tour's biggest stars look to drive away with top honors in one of their premier events. It's the final round of the Ford Senior Players Championship, next on ABC Sports. Back at the Molson Indy Toronto, Michael Andretti has assumed the lead on pit stops. We're Phil still under a full course caution. And let's go back to the previous full course caution. Gary Gerald's with Al Unser Jr. Now, two weeks in a row, it's an early out, and both times involving contact, this time with Bobby Rahal. Tell us how it set up when, from your view. Well, we were trying Bobby on, uh, on the inside, and, and really I kind of missed on my gears. And so at the the last quarter of the straightaway, I'm on my rev limiter, and 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 I just didn't have enough to get a go up in there. And and uh, laps prior, he was leaving a little bit of hole because he kept trying tail, and you know the train reaction would happen. And and I tried to go up into a hole that wasn't there, and and I locked him up, and and I ran in the back of him. Does this really seal it as far as your hopes of repeating a championship, or you still got enough time? You feel you can make a run at this deal? Well, you know, sure, we got plenty of time to, to make a run at it. There's a lot of points available, but, uh, you know, it makes it very slim, really. And so, uh, you know, we'll just see how what how they do today. If the guys behind win and so on, then, uh, then it'll look better. But give us a quick idea of the track conditions. And we know there was concern on the kink here at turn 11 after the repairs they tried to make overnight. What was the feel of this racetrack? The feel was really good. The, the track was good. You know, the, as long as the, the rain stays away, it's it's going to be great. You know, the track was a little bit quicker than than what we had had thought of, and and so uh, you know that's why we were a little bit short on our gears and everything. So well, this emotional roller coaster is taking another nosedive. Thank you, Junior. Yep. All right, let's go to Jack. Well, Gary, this caution is a good break for Team Green and your leader, Jack Villeneuve, because just before it, in that last caution, they were extremely upset with IndyCar officials. Now, I asked Barry Green about it. You were upset because you didn't feel you had enough time after the pack up to pit? Well, Jack, it's, it's, it's very clear on a road course. We should be given the opportunity to pit. We're the leader. They should key the full course yellow over, off us. And we're very upset right now because IndyCar need to pay a little more attention to that. This is big business right now, and we can't afford it. Now we're stuck in fifth position, and only by great pit work here on the players team did we get, are we still in fifth position. Now, the other question, though, is also we understand that there might be a slight problem with Jack's helmet, and that in all of that pit stop strategy, back and forth, trying to come in, maybe fell out of sequence, and you weren't able to repair the helmet problem that he was complaining about. Well, it's, it's not a major problem. Uh, the cables for the radio have come a little bit loose, and we were going to tape them up, but it was so important to maintain a good track position there that we couldn't mess around with that. We had to get him back on the racetrack. I don't think that's, that's a big problem. But Lynn St. James, as you know, having sat in the cockpit of one of these, composure is so very important and knowing that maybe a connection there for your radio isn't actually taped down properly well you could think about it a couple of times couldn't you yeah but not not really you've got a race and not worry about stuff like that 
cars involved in that crash but take a look at Salazar they're trying to get him going once again let's uh, just remind you that now under the yellow it's Michael Andretti followed by Mauricio Guzman who has not yet made his pit stop the only one who has not now next Sunday the IndyCar action will continue in Cleveland last year's winner Allinger Jr. battles a marvelous field of drivers on the shores of Lake Erie at the Cleveland IndyCar Grand Prix that's next Sunday here at 3 Eastern True Central but don't forget we're going to be going on here on ABC from there to the Michigan 500 and then to Indianapolis for the Brickyard 400 and at Mid-Ohio, at the, at the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course in Lexington, Ohio. All that racing coming up here on ABC Sports. So still under the full course caution, this is the fourth place car, Bobby Rahal, as they begin to compress that field and hopefully can go green shortly. In the meantime, let us go to Jack Aroot. Well, Paul, you alluded to the fact that Bobby Rahal has been running so very strong. In fact, he has radioed into his crew that it, that is indeed the case. The frustrating thing, though, for Rahal has been track position. He's running strong, but not strong enough to overcome in some of the difficult passing areas on the racetrack. He was complaining most loudly about the combustion engineering car for Teo Fabi. But he was able to get by Fabi during all of this. He is currently shown in a podium position, but he has told the team no changes on the car. I'm extremely happy with the way it's handling. Let's check in with Gary Gerald. Well, it's busy on pit road. Here's one of those that was involved in that wild melee as they came down to, to get a green flag. Eric Bachelard, you're obviously physically all right. Uh, what did it look like from where you were, and how did this all unfold? I think there was a blind corner, and uh, so right after the, that corner, all the pack slowed down a lot, almost stopped. So we were a bit surprised, you know, at the back of the field. And uh, so I braked, went in, into the right, and I don't know, suddenly the, cam, the car went sideways. I hit the wall. I don't know why. I don't know if somebody hit me by behind, from behind. I like to see on the tape because really it was a kind of a surprise because we were going so slow and it was kind of spectacular because then I, I could see Guerrero flying all over my teammates and so uh, fortunately everything, uh, everybody is okay, no, nobody's hurt so that's the main thing but uh, it's a shame we were running pretty well and uh, so both of the both cars from my team, you know, the Peyton Cone Racing, are out of the race, so it's kind of a shame. Well, a surprise of the worst nature, but we're happy you're right. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. Paul? And it could, in fact, then be compression that happened in front of the videotape that we have, but it sure gave Carlos Guerrero a spectacular ride, and the good news is that no one was injured in this particular incident, bringing out our second full course yellow of the day. A lot of work for the record crews here. Right now, it's Michael Andretti that is our leader. 28 laps complete. We're under the full course yellow. Ah, the weekend. The perfect time to be cooking outdoors. At Ford, we couldn't agree more. Here's to Jacques Villeneuve and the Ford Cosworth IndyCar the 1995 Indy 500 champion. Hey, when we're cooking, everybody else has to settle for seconds. Have you driven a Ford lately? Every time the driving conditions change, the threats to your car's engine change. That's why Quaker State has engineered intelligent oil, oil that senses those changing threats and adapts its own molecular structure to protect your engine, whatever the conditions. So, if the temperature changes, so does Quaker State. If the traffic congestion changes, so does Quaker State. The intelligent oil for longer engine life. Wet roadways like this inspire Goodyear's newest all-season Aquatread radio, the all-new Goodyear Aquatread 2, with a deeper, wider aqua channel to sweep water away for outstanding wet traction and a new Treadlife compound. Goodyear gives you a...